Okay, so integers are done, and we move on to the next uh, math topic, which is order of operations, otherwise known as bed mass. So these, this topic is when you have a long, ugly math question with a whole bunch of different things you got to do, multiplying, adding, subtracting, dividing, brackets, exponents, that kind of stuff. And bed mass basically tells you the correct order to do the uh, big long question in so you get the right answer. You just can't go left to right all the time or in any order you want. You have to do it in a certain order. Uh, and this bed mass just reminds you again of the order to do the big long question. Each letter here stands for a certain thing you got to worry about. B stands for brackets. E stands for exponents. D stands for dividing, M for multiplying, I'll just call it mult for short, A for adding, S for subtracting. So here's how this works. You get a, you get a question with a whole bunch of things to do. The first thing you would look at is, does it have any brackets? Now when I say brackets, I'm talking about is there a question inside the brackets. Sometimes you just see brackets with no question inside and that just that's not the same kind of brackets I'm talking about here. Um, so I'll show you an example to make more sense. Exponents are like 5 to the power 3, 2 to the power 7, something like this. These are exponents. We haven't covered them yet. We will in other uh, next few lessons. So we'll come to them later. Uh, so first you, if you have a big long question, first you do what's in the brackets first. Then you take care of any exponents. Figure them out. Next, dividing and multiplying. These two, even though dividing is written first, are actually equal to each other. They're in the same level as each other. So if you have a dividing part and a multiplication part to you in a question, um, they're tied. They're basically equal in, in, in importance or in the order that you do things in. If, and again, if you have a, both a dividing and a multiplying part in a question, you go left to right. Uh, dividing and multiplying are ahead of or go f before adding and subtracting, which are also equal to each other. So, when you get a bed mass question like this one down here. Take your time. I need to see all your work and do it one step at a time. Those who like to do it in their head and skip steps usually are going to make mistakes and if you do make mistakes um, it's difficult uh, or easier for me if you show all your work um, for me to give you part marks so I can actually see where you made a mistake. If you just put a number down and without any thought and you get it wrong um, then I can't give you any part marks or half marks um, for showing your work. Okay, so a question like this. 10 minus 2 plus 1 minus 4. So what are the things we have to do here? What are the operations we have? We have a subtraction, an adding, and a subtraction. So adding and subtraction are equal to each other. And again, the rule is when you have operations that are equal to each other to figure out the order you do it in is that you go left to right. So here's left, we're going to go that way to the right. Like I showed you in a previous um, uh, lesson, the way I'd like you to show to do this is that the first operation, which we've I hope we figured out, is this 10 minus 2. You underline it. I expect to see that. Underline that so your brain can focus on that operation and not worry about these numbers over here yet. 10 minus 2 is 8. Bring everything else down. The plus, the 1, the minus, the 4. Try to do it directly underneath. <clears throat> okay, we got a plus and a minus. We're adding and subtracting. Um, so again, we're equal, so you go left to right. 8 plus 1, which is 9. Bring the minus, bring the 4 down. And now you're just left with 9 minus 4, which is 5. 
this is the kind of work I'd expect to see. It's kind of like a, you know, a, a long line and getting shorter and shorter and shorter, kind of like a triangle sort of thing happening. Circle your final answer so it's easy for me or the marker to uh, see. Okay, so simple, simple, simple. Take a look at a question like this. Three times three divided by three times three. Looking at bed mass, dividing and multiplying are equal to each other, even though dividing is written first. Um, they're equal to each other, so we have another tie. And when there's a tie, like I said, to figure out who goes first, we go the left side first, then to the right. So we do this first. 3 times 3, which is 9. Bring down the divided by, bring down the 3, bring down the multiply, bring down the 3. Next, left to right, the divided by. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Bring down the multiply, bring down the 3. 3 times 3, 9. Circle it, done. That's the kind of work you should be showing. Okay, now, take a look at this question here. 3 plus 2 times 9. We're so used to going left to right that you, most of you are probably going to jump at this and go, okay, first thing we're going to do is 3 plus 2. That's not the case. Looking at bed mass, here we have an adding and a multiplying. And bed mass says that multiplying comes before adding. So we do the multiplying first. Not this. Multiplying goes first. So we're going to do that first. 2 times 9, 18. Bring down the plus, bring down the 3. And then you're left with 3 plus 18, which is 21. If you did the 3 plus 2 first, then times 9, you'd have 45, and that's not the correct answer. This is. Multiply incomes before adding. Okay, how about this one here? 3 plus 6 divided by 8 plus 2. Adding, dividing, adding. Bed mass, the dividing comes first. So we do this first, the dividing. 16 divided by 8 is 2. Bring everything else down. 3 plus plus 2. They're all adding so that we have a tie. We go left to right. This side is 3 plus 2, 5. Bring down the plus, bring down the 2. You get a final answer of 7. Alright, moving along. What about a question like this? Now we have brackets. Bed mass brackets, the B goes first, the brackets come and go first. So first thing, we ignore this one plus for now. We do it in the brackets first. Now inside the brackets, we have some funny looking stuff here. We've got a multiplying and we've got a dot. Now the reason why I put this dot here is because this dot is another way of showing multiplying. Multiplying has a bunch of ways to be shown with the X, with brackets with nothing in between, and here, like a dot. So you have a multiplying and a multiplying, just two different ways of showing multiplying. So we have a tie, we go left to right. This first, that is 10. Bring everything else down. The dot, which means multiplying, the three, the bracket, the bracket, the plus, the one. Next, brackets, we still have them, so we focus on them first still. 10 times 3 is 30. You can put the brackets in if you want, don't really need to. 1 plus 30. Now, when I was saying there's brackets and then there's brackets, again, here you have 30 in brackets, but there's no question inside. It's done, so now you don't have to worry about bed mass brackets here. Anyways, just a 1 plus 30, which is 31. Done. Okay, now we get a little trickier. 
Here you got some funny looking brackets, square brackets. And square brackets are kind of more important than the round brackets, or they come first. So, um, we have brackets here, brackets there. A tie between the brackets, and what are you doing at a tie? You go left to right. So we start on this brackets first. Inside the brackets, we've got an adding and a dividing. So we should do the dividing first. Bedmass says do dividing first. And we do it. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And do it directly underneath. Show everything else, bring everything else down. The square bracket, the plus, the 4. The square bracket, the divided by, the square, the 12, the divided by, the 6, the square bracket. Okay, we still have brackets here. And we have brackets there, again left to right. We're going to do this next. 4 plus 2 is 6. Bring everything else down. Alright. Now, at this point, do not do 6 divided by 12. We have brackets over here. Brackets always goes first. We got rid of these ones, now we focus on these brackets. 12 divided by 6 is 2. Bring everything else down. 6 divided by 2, last step, is 3. So again, when you have a big, ugly question, the first reaction is, oh my god, I can't do it, it's too hard. Well, it is if you try to do it all at once. If you do it step by step, one step at a time, it slowly gets chopped down into a very easily doable question. Alright, this one here. This is the last example, by the way. So you've got these square brackets, and inside the square brackets you have round brackets. So obviously this one plus we're not going to worry about. We look at the brackets here, and inside the brackets we got brackets in the brackets. Which tells us that we need to do this first. The one plus four. Not the two times. Normally you do multiplying first, but because uh, over adding, but because the adding is in brackets, brackets always goes first. So 1 plus 4 is 5. Bring everything else down. The square bracket, the times, the 2, the square bracket, the 1, the plus. Brackets next. 2 times 5 is 10. Bring down the plus, bring down the 1. Add those up. You get 11. Alright, so here are your skill testing questions, and I'm going to be very particular about this. I need you to show all your steps. Almost identical to mine. Here are your three questions only. This one, this one, and this cute little question right here. Alright, good luck with all that, and we will talk to you very soon.